All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about the, the rule when we have a fraction, x to a power divided by x to a different power. The rule is subtract the exponents a minus b. Why does it work? Well, let's consider x to the 5 over x to the 3. If we just apply the rule, we get 5, five minus 3. 5 minus 3 gives us x squared. Well, another way we could think of this, and this shows us why we subtract. x to the 5 is 5x's five multiplied. x to the 3 is 3x's three multiplied. Well, as we studied earlier with fractions, whenever you have common factors in the numerator and denominator, they cancel. When you cancel, what are we really doing? We're taking them away. In other words, we're subtracting. So I take one away, two away, three away. I'm taking three from the five, which leaves us with x to the two. So that's the reason why the rule works the way it does. Let's do another example. When you have numbers involved, just remember that this is the same thing as 4 over 8 times x to the 8 over x to the 2. Again, the reason why is because fractions. When we multiply these, you just multiply the top and you multiply the bottom. Yeah, and it's the same thing. Now we can simplify. 4 goes into 8 twice, so, or 4 goes into 4 once, 4 goes into 8 twice, so that reduces to a half. Here we subtract the exponents, 8 minus 2, gives us 6. So the answer is 1 half x to the 6. Now if we multiply this, understand 1 half x to the 6 is x to the 6 over 1. So if we multiply this, 1 times x to the 6 is x to the 6. 2 times 1 is 2. So this answer is, the same, is equivalent to this answer here. These are both the same answer. They look a little different, but they're the same thing. All right, so now let's combine a couple different rules. The rule in the previous video said, in this case, we add the exponents, x to the two times x to the six. Two plus six gives us eight, divided by x to the three. Now we apply this rule, now that we have one fraction, x to a power over x to a power, we subtract, and we get x to the 8 minus 3 gives us 5. So that is the simplified answer of this expression. 